Greetings everyone, this is Kagan Swisson. Welcome to Eco of Sol Ragnarok. This game is having a new server opening and everyone is trying their best to be the first one to reach 70 level. This game has 7 classes and in each class, if you reach 70 level for the first time on the server, you will get an achievement. Like I have chosen Warlock and if I reach 70 level first in the server, I will get the Warlock's Navigator achievement. I'm trying to be the first 70 in Warlock but I'm not sure if it's possible because I was like 7 minutes left 7 minutes left and this is huge the in this game they have a teleporting system I mean if you accept a quest they will teleport you right where to the I mean they will teleport you where you need to be in the quest to relive the days of my youth they also have gave us a lot of rewards which I claimed all of them I haven't missed any because the rewards are huge they gave us some item mall currency too and blue diamond is one of them but the blue diamonds take a lot of time to use you can see I have to click each of them I can delay on the quest as well or I won't reach 70 level for the first time oh and you saw so it's a star you or something he's already 2 level he's the first warlock in the game I gotta beat him you don't meet the requirements to purchase the following beginner tier pack what okay looks like they have a level requirement or something the beginner tier pack is a huge deal because it helps you level up faster. I will get what I need for now at least. Message received. The premium plus 15 days is another buff that can help newbies reach 70 level as fast as possible. I wonder what my old training buddies are up to these days. Also, you cannot teleport when you are in under battle. Means you gotta be out of battle to teleport. Gotta accept all the quests. Can't leave area during battle. Unable to teleport while in combat. I mean while in battle. Sorry. Point flip is the friend first. Add. I will add to a star you to friend. In Eco Absol, you can add someone to friend list without their constant. But that's actually not a friend unless he adds you as well. It will just let you see when he or she is online if you add him or her to friend list without their concept but if they add you as well it will show you as friend in the friend list they gave us same buff two times I will use one of them the soul keepers brody was the second buff I used it's also it also helps you level up faster like it gives movement speed, attack, defense. I don't remember all of them. And as I was saying, a new server opening. The server name is Ragnarok. They also have another server named Imidom, but I wasn't playing in that server because in Eco of Soul they had a problem like if you are low level you really can't get the high level gears unless you play for like one year so i was waiting for this new server opening they said they will give many new features and new things that will help new wizards to the level where you can farm gears and they will also fix the problem where you don't need to wait one year to get the gears you can versus the beginner pack okay gonna take a huge amount of time but 
if I wait at least, I mean, if I wait one minute, then it's done. I won't get the achievement. One of them is already seven. He's fire. See, because our name color is yellow, it means she is paladin class. This game is a gender lock game. The class decide. I mean, each class have a different gender. You can decide your own appearance or change it. Even after choosing your appearance with an item called Beauty Shop Ticket. I don't know if the item has a s still had the same name. If we give up, we're as good as dead. He's already four. I am also four, right? Oh no! I teleported without accepting the other quest. Can't stop though. I gotta complete it. The purple box, which I have 40 of, is another reward they gave. I missed one of them. That one also had a, also had 10 boxes, but I missed it because I wasn't paying attention that they had five coupons. I didn't follow them so I got 40. They also give great, great items like a mount, some fashions. In this game, fashion costumes have some special powers. Like, I will explain it later. I can't explain it. I forgot many of the stuff and I gotta check it to remember what I'm missing on. But if I check now, I will miss the 70 level assignment. I will get what I can for now. Because they might give me something which will help me. Like some kind of passive pet. Passive pet in this game buffs you greatly. Not all of them, some of them. The ones that cost a lot of money. You can get them free too, but it takes time or luck. And if you, even if you get them for free, you still need hourglass to keep them active. Like, a pet stays for, on average, a pet stays alive for 30 days. But if you don't use the hourglass, it don't last after your 30 days. You have to use hourglass after every 30 days or when it gets expired. After using the hourglass, you can get uh, like more 30 days. Depends on the hourglass though. There is one that lasts for 70 days. I mean, sorry, sorry, not 70 days. 7 days. And one of them stays, uh, expands the time for one day. One of them had like 3 days, but they removed it later. So there is only 1 day, 7 day, and 30 day hourglass. Rich soul, I just got 50 soul orb. Oh, I got a demonic. Oh my god, I'm getting a lot of them. I got a lot of important stuffs like a 187, uh, 187 level demon equipment. You got a pet, it's not like you have to be 187 level to equip it. The items level is 187. And I also got a pet. This is what I was talking about, you see? It's name... Uh, I mean, the name was written in orange. It means it's a legendary pet. It's not permanent, it can only stay for 30 days. And... Because I got it for free, you cannot use an hourglass on it. Means after 30 days, the pet will be gone. Forever. Beginner tier pack I was trying to buy had a blue pet which have a rare category rarity category of uh what was it called the category names is rare i think one is common green rare blue uh, purple means epic and orange means legendary the rare category pet stays forever you can use hourglass on it but hourglass are kind of hard to get if you're not a money player. The other way to get an hourglass is to be very active in the game and get, I mean, farm as much golden egg as possible. 
Oh my god, this is gonna take a lot of time. Oh my god, it's first time is already 7. I'm being left behind, he's fast. I gotta change it to default, then vertical same because that infinite FPS is increasing my CPU's temperature. If you're wondering why you can't see many players there, it's because Warlock starts in a different place than Later. I don't have time all the other right classes. Now. And there aren't many war Warlocks in this game. That's why I choose this class, so I can reach 70 first time on the cyber with warlock class but never thought that those star you would be waiting for me in old days of eco of soul they had a good class balance but right now the archer class with bard birth is having some extra advantage and Bard Bard. Every class have two Bard. In Archer, there is Bard and Huntress. And in Warlock, there is Tormentor and Reaper. You, you will make it. I know Every you class will. have two Bards. And those Bards change your playstyle heavily. Like the Berserker in Warrior's Path. I mean, sorry. Warrior is the class, Berserker is the path. The other path warrior have is protector. Protector is a okay. tank class that tanks Unlocked all the damage in a party dungeon or a raid dungeon. And Berserker is a DPS path Greetings. that deals the DPS. There is always one tank and four DDs, I mean sorry, DPS in a party. Uh, but, but in a raid there is two tanks and eight damage dealers or DD. In Ecosul they call they call it DD. This will but in usual game, you will um, see them as DPS. I'm focusing on push too hard that I'm forgetting to clean up my backpack. But I can't waste time cleaning up my backpack because someone is way ahead than me in Warlock. So it's kind of risky to slow down now. Okay, got it. Now I will get all the good stuff that will make me reach the level up faster. A Celestial Griffon. This pet, I mean, this mount looks amazing. And it also heals every one, 180 seconds when you get on the mount. But it does effect as a. 180 seconds cooldown. Also, I got an evening wear costume that increases my power. Also, evening wear looks amazing. Unless I get, unless I get something even more better, I will equip this costume. See, the mobs are dying much faster now. This is because of the costume I got. This increases the power heavily. Also, I got a pet, but this pet is actually for PvP. Oh, someone got the boss. I will eat it as well. Because some of the quests can be completed, even if the me? boss is attacked by someone else first. Okay, level 8 then. You need anything, just ask. This is gonna take huge time huge time. Just gonna take to a surrender. lot of time in. Because I have to be the first 70 means I have to reach 70. I, um 8 right now. Four point register. Pleased to meet you. I'm gonna be hungry, actually. Because I can't eat in the middle of this. Eating takes time. 
and it's risky to eat while gaming. Okay, so here we are. 69 level. I have skipped a lot of the part because it was like 7 hours before I got to this level. And I skipped it because it gets very boring at the level 10. Like right now I have 46% and wait and see how much time it takes us to be 70. Careful, I have a bad feeling about this. Each quest is very fast, but it gives like one to two percent. Sometimes the quest is twenty or thirty percent, but the quest that gives like twenty to thirty percent takes a lot of time to complete. And you cannot leave the main quest, you can do side quest. The main quest have a teleport button, but the side quest doesn't. So only the main quest is fast enough to make me the first 70 level warlock. I have been checking on Zoet Star U and for some reason he is very low level and another player named Blizzard is now 64. Hello. I think he gave up. I mean Zoe Star U to be the first 70 level. I'm not giving up though because right now I'm the first. Also Blizzard he was fast, but I think he took some break. I haven't taken any. I have. I haven't taken any break, and I haven't eaten as well. And just like I said, I have. I'm now very hungry, but it's it's all right. Even if I'm hungry right now, I'm more hungry for the achievement that is given to the first time warlocks I mean first 70 level warlock this game has a big pvp system as well but right now oh no no I am using the pvp but there is different skill build for different things like for PvE you have a different skill build but right now I am using the PvP build because in PvP build they focus more on crowd control than damage but I am using the PvP build because those mobs hit really hard and crowd control works good on the mo monsters as well that's why I am using the PvP build because they can't hit me if I stun them. Warlock doesn't have many stuns, but it have like knockbacks and some movement speed slow. I'm a ranger, so slowing enemies movement speed is a is a good advantage. I won't let you do that. The yellow casting bar can be blocked with that skill. I have on number 8. I don't... Uh, Silent Curse, okay. For the Warlock, its name is Silent Curse. Each class have a different skill. That can block enemies yellow casting bar. The grey ones can be blocked. The yellow casting bar here, this one, while I'm manipulating, can be blocked. You can use it on PvP as well, you can use it on PvE too. But in Don't PvP it's bad. not really important to block the enemy's casting, but it's better to do it. But you gotta be real fast to do bad. that. But in monsters, you definitely blo there. gotta blow, I mean sorry, here. block their attack. If you don't stop their casting, sometimes in party dungeons, they one hit you. Can I help you with something? Okay, I am now in Barnesia. I don't think I can stay here for long because this teleporting system is really fast Item and it destroyed. doesn't really let you enjoy the adventure but more like it's been made into the game I mean they gave it in the game because of people's complaining of how long it takes to be 70 level With Nias's help, I have spent 7 hours Stick to the even with the teleporting system on 
without it i think it takes like uh, four days or five days destroyed. on average it takes like 10 days if you're really fast then it takes like Welcome. two days but no one can do that because you gotta stay here for two days but on normal you need like three to four days okay right now i am in 95 percent and with this quest i think i will reach like 97 percent let's see i'm really exhausted really exhausted So I start you with 53 and Blizzard. <laughs> no need to see Blizzard. I think he was like 66 or something. And I have become too fast to check the friendlies that I even forgot to check the person who is second in Warlock. Forgot to check horrifying. it. Level. It doesn't matter though. I'm gonna reach 70 for the first. I'm, I'm gonna be the first 70 Warlock. My English broke. It's because really I haven't eaten yellow. my food yet. That was horrifying. That quest? Yes, it was really horrifying. Oh my god. Where did all of you came from? It's all okay though, I'm strong. Okay, that was a wrong click. I just invited another friend to the party. For no reason. Oh, someone got a legendary magic costume box. Those legendary costumes are even stronger than average costumes. You cannot see them though, they are transparent. So you gotta use those average costumes as appearance and the legendary Listen costumes you. for the power. Yes, you can equip them both. The average costumes can be used in the appearance. I mean used as the appearance ones and the legendary ones can be used for power. They don't give any drawbacks when it comes to things versus from the item mall of course. That was a huge for his soul stream. It was the best item I saw someone got. The soul stream is a very rare thing, especially the poor is soul stream. It lets you equip some strong stones. Okay, I'm 70. Uh, uh, what? I didn't got the Warlock's Navigator for some reason. Why? Blizzard was the second Warlock I saw. What? No way, no way, no way. I am sure I was the first 70 level. Oh my god. I got some rewards and stuff. Oof. Now I am even more exhausted. I didn't got the achievement for some reason. Oh, someone is congratulating me. Thanks. Oh, it's coin flip. Oh, she was the first one to... She was going to be the first one to reach the 70 level, but someone already did. Also, she's paladin class, so I think she have a chance to still be the first one. I mean, get her as She's a... He's in a different oh, class, Paladin. I don't think someone in Paladin already had reached 70. Blizzard is 65. Oh, I see. So this Shadow Kid had reached 70 level first. Yeah, me too. I also don't know how he reached 70 first. I haven't seen him in the quest area. Yep, lightning he is. 
he reached 70 out of nowhere. Like, he wasn't in the quest area. Registered. I was 7 minutes late, like late when I joined the server. And I don't think in 7 minutes he gone to like uh, 35 or so. 70 score. Oh, I see. Okay, let me explain. 70 level scroll is a insta 70 level scroll that allows you to reach 70 level directly. Directly. I mean, you don't have to do any quest or anything. You can just reach 70. It's the power of money. It's the power of money. I should have known. The power of money. He used money to get got the, he got the achievement because of that. No way. I was working so hard, but really forgot they can do that. Thank you everyone for watching my video. Have a nice day and.